So for our College of Ag, we had an established customer base using our TDM phones that was on a single pair regular telephone plant. Uh, within the building, they had a completely separate network behind a firewall. So when we went to change over to our Cisco IP solution, we couldn't use the building's network. So it kind of negated that as a possibility. And then the Polar gave us the perfect solution because we could have a completely separate network running over the single pair telephone uh, plant. And our existing customers didn't change anything. They even used the existing telephone cord. And we just replaced that, went right into the Polar dongle and right into the new Cisco phone and it made for an easy transition, completely separate network in buildings where we had no other network as a choice. So the Pan American Center is our main sports center and they also have concerts. It houses a Ticketmaster office on one far end of the building and then on the South end of the building, it houses our coach's office for volleyball, women's basketball, men's basketball. So we had a number of different offices that needed administrative lines, and we would have had to upgrade 12 different network closets in order to support all of their needs. This polar solution allowed us to have one centrally located uh, network closet that we upgraded. We put in the polar host switch, and then over the length, uh, some of the runs as long as 900 feet, 1100 feet. We were all able to do out of that single distribution closet. So that saved us upgrading all those different UPSs and all the different feed switches to those closets. The football stadium, you can imagine, has the same problem. It has a uh, building called the Fulton Athletic Center that houses our athletic director, the football coaches, the team training rooms, uh, the phones that are in there for administrative lines. And then it goes all the way up to our press box, which is on the very far up, upper part of the rim of the stadium. And we couldn't support that with PoE switches unless we upgraded many different distributions. This allowed us to upgrade one distribution, use the Polar's length capability to allow us to support administrative lines on very long lengths at the stadium. So the Alamogordo branch is a campus about 60 miles from our main campus and we wanted to have all the students there have the same feel as if they were on the main campus. Uh, they had their own existing PBX which was tied to our older PBX and they had come up to the end of that contract so we actually needed to jump that site ahead of our main campus rollout and their network distributions were in really poor shape scattered across 12 different buildings. So we were able to come in with polar boxes. Uh, we upgraded with one central Cisco 3750 feed. Then we fed fiber drops to all the different buildings. And using that one feed switch in one building, we were able to support multiple buildings by deploying polar boxes locally within those buildings, but their network architecture all fed back to just one centrally fed uh, feed switch. I have that product working on over 50 year old Bell telephone wire uh, and it works every bit as good as any new Cat5 or Cat6 and it's an impressive product um, and uh, the applications have gone on and on on the campus here because we do have a lot of older buildings with a lot of older wiring. We got a new network in, plug that into that unit, provision it, from there it's lift and lay with the, the actual wiring. We're taking it off a cable pair and punching it down on a polar port, put the phone in, you're done. It's an amazing product. I would recommend it highly to anyone.